Hey kids. Okay, so I just want to go over how to um, put the warp threads on your loom. You should have your name on the back on a piece of tape in Sharpie. That way we can use them more than once. And you should have some yarn to use as your warp thread. This is the back. So I'm going to have my tail hang down the back. And I'm going to wiggle through teeth in the front. I went two in. Oh. Hold on. Now I went two in. Now I went two in. So I want to go two in down here, right? Find the corresponding teeth. And I like to hold it while I wiggle these through so I don't rip it. And then I'm going to go around the back and go to the next two teeth. You can do every one, but it will make your weaving extremely dense and take a very long time to finish. I'm going to come up to the two corresponding teeth here, two in from the top, and I'm going to go across the back and then down the front. So I'm never wrapping around the back, like I'm never doing this. It'll just use way too much thread and it's not necessary. I'm never doing two over and then one over. I'm always making sure that I'm keeping the pattern that I have set. I'm never pulling too hard on this because it is just cardboard and it will rip. And if I want this to be the whole way across the loom, then I continue this process until I get to the end here. If I want this to be a more narrow weaving, I would just uh, do my warp threads to maybe here or here, and then the back. Now in the back, you're gonna tape down your tail. Kind of hold that in place. And when you get to the end, you're gonna tape down your other tail so that it's clean and it's organized. Um, if you have dowel rods in here, a way to lift this and keep it elevated, it makes it so much easier to do the weaving that way. Um, but you can't have that dowel rod block your teeth because then you won't be able to weave. Okay, I hope this helps.